In one of my old videos, I reviewed the CTO called Primo C2. While it was pretty nice C2 framework for a bachelor's degree, it lacked a lot of fundamental things like navigating directories, executing assemblies, performing some kind of bypasses like IMZ or VTW. But after I made my video, the creator seemed to took my word seriously and he updated the C2. Let's review it once again. Now we can start by analyzing the GitHub repository. As we can see based on the releases type, the latest update was 3.0 and it was delivered on 28th of December 2023. Now another thing we had that has to be created is that now the creator has its own blog inside where he shares personal blogs as well as the updates for the C2 itself. So definitely check this one out. Now let's scroll a little bit down and now we can see an amazing logo for the C2. The installation process is kind of similar to the previous one, but the real magic is inside the features. Now, besides the standard stuff like Dimi Plan, Python C2, and Download Cradle, we have AMZ Bypass, Directory Operations, Download Functionality, Execute Assembly, PowerShell in Unmanaged Run Space, Automated Redirector Setup via DigitalOcean VPS, which to me looks like a big deal. So let's set up that thing. The installation process, as I mentioned, should not be difficult at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Terminal and become root on my system. Then I'm going to go over OPT and now follow the instruction by literally copying and pasting clone the repository chmod installation setup so we can execute it now let's source that and this is gonna install all the dependencies for us but then we're gonna need to install all the nim packages that we're gonna need in order for the c2 to operate so as mentioned i'm going to literally copy and paste the instructions from the github page to here and after the process finish i'm gonna be right back and we can start reviewing the c2 first things first after I did all the installation process, I found something is missing inside the documentation. As in there, it is nowhere mentioned that you have to install the Python requirements. So in order for that to work, you should do pip3 install minus r requirements.txt, which is going to install all the needed dependency and so on. You most likely going to need to install random name manually as I showcase with this command. Now, after that's done, you can do ls and you can go under c2 where it's your server.py. Now, I can do python3 server.py and that's going to launch the main interface of the program. By doing help, we can see a lot more commands and now again we need to generate listener and we need to generate a nim plan now the one thing that i found very frustrating and if you're watching this please please fix that in the newest release you don't have any kind of help menus regarding the command for instance if i do help listener nothing if i do listener or listener just by listener listener help i don't see any output so i kind of need to get used to that how to operate based on the syntax based on the code and based on the menu but it's gonna be super nice if you just add some kind of uh, commands and help tips on how to operate but i think i define and if you do listener minus g and specify http now we need to define a port in that case i'm going to define port 443 i'm going to need to specify my eth o interface and it's done now my server is actively listening for incoming connections now by default primo c2 is going to also host a web interface on port 899 just for transferring payloads but we're going to do it manually for simple use now after i have my listener and running if i do help there again now i need to generate a nim plant and that can be done with the command nim plant minus g and specify tcp or http in that case it is http now i need to specify one for my listener address the executable is getting compiled what i enjoy about the payroll generation is that it generates a sliver all the time random names which are good for the signatures the payload is generated and the file name is resultant highwine.exe now i need to open a new terminal there i need to go on the generated implant and we have our payload there resultant highwine.exe i'm going to do python 3 http server on port 80 and now let me go back to my client one machine run the payload all right now i am on my windows 10 client which you're gonna run the payload from i'm gonna very quickly open edge from there and navigate to my web server and download the file while I'm doing that, I am actually having Defender keep on. Keep anyway like that. I'm gonna go there and see the Defender settings. And as you might see, we are in real-time protection. My file is downloaded. I can open a PowerShell just to execute things more clean. I can see it into downloads and from there do the result on highwise.exe. After I run it, no output is present. But when I go to my Kali box, we can right away see that we have a new callback. And keep in mind that in real environment and based on the default code from the C2, you're gonna see your public ip address but obviously i don't want you guys see my public ip address then and that's why i manually hard coded 127001 into the source code to the c2 if we go over callbacks we can see all the available callbacks i am just hoping into saying thank you for all my patreon sponsors and if you guys have further appreciation for the channel and my and for my work feel free to become my patreon there you can get access to private videos my private notes my private packer 
and you're gonna have the ability to request videos on demand, including on more advanced topics like phishing, executing assemblies, and so on. So, see you there. And this is the ID, this is the username, admin is no, I didn't run it as admin, but I am a domain admin, so most likely that's a check that, that needs to be done. We have the status active, target, operating system, IMZ disabled, and check-in time that. So if you do call back again, I'm not sure why the check-in time is the same, maybe that's a bug, maybe it's not, or that's just the initial time we have the paywall is triggered. Never mind, we can do callbacks or actually use O and there it is. I'm now operating from the context of the user. I can do help to see all the commands I can run and let's observe them one by one. First, we have the option to do background. So we can background this session. Then we have the option to exit, the option to get the AV. So let's try that real quick, get AV. Then we have Windows Defender. We have the standard PowerShell, but this time it runs in unmanaged run space. We have execute assemblies. All right. Then we have FS, CD, P PWW, paywalls, shell, sleep, persist, persist, and download file. So we cannot also download file and manage interact with it, but establish assistance with the built-in module now let's see the paywalls tab so we can do paywalls and we don't have variable paywalls i'm not sure how this thing is supposed to work but if it's even supposed to work but let's see can i do pw all right i'm inside this folder as well i can try cd dot dot and then run pw again now this cd seems to work if i do cd desktop now pw yep it seems to work now let's see what happens if i do the ls let's see the outputs of that and how it displays now uh, files and directories so let's do ls there and that's it we have the name a nice video table with the size and the last modified date all right now one command i am so up to try is to execute assembly because I wrote a blog post on how to execute .NET assemblies with C, so if you're interested in such topics, make sure to click the link in the description and read the book. Your feedback is always welcome. Now, the execute assembly is interesting because I wonder how it's working. Do I need to drop the assembly on the file system or it, can it work remotely from mine? Also, we don't have that much thing to do because I know we can persist, I know we can download the files, but we, can upload, we can't upload files, which I think is a bad and that needs to be addressed in the future. We can of course get the AV and make the thing to the background, but pretty much all we can do is limited to running show commands, running power show commands in unmanaged run space, which is definitely better than the previous version and executing assemblies. I'm happy with the progress. I think it's a it's nicely well done, but C2 is, is complex, right? C2 is not just a simple program where you write, it's a lifelong work and a lot of stuff needs to be implemented in order for it to be efficient. Now let's try the execute assembly stuff. So I can try execute ASM. Do I have any uh, any help? No, use O, help, execute ASM. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's try execute ASM. Now point it to my sharp collection and do rubius.exe. How is that found? So so it's most likely that we need to first drop the assembly itself to the file system and then try to execute it. So in order for the sake of the demo, I'm gonna test it. So I can do Python HTTP server there. I can go to my client machine there. Now let me turn off my defender because I want to download Rubius and it's obvious you're gonna get flagged. Uh, turn off defender. Now let's go back to my web server and find Rubius. Download it. Of course, yes, I want to allow that. All right, now it should be inside download. So let's try to execute it this way. Execute asm c users k to that downwards and rubius.exe can we do that now oh. file still not found okay where is my print uh, working directory desktop i want to cd back and cd into downwards and now let's do ls again there it is so can i try execute asm rubius.exe because i'm in the current folder file not found can I try, why like, can I try copy the directory because I'm not sure if it's the right path, rubius.exe, found not found. I'm really not sure how, how that thing works. So if you have any idea, and that's why it was so, it's gonna be so helpful if we have some kind of a error help message which, which can guide us on how to execute different commands. You can try PowerShell, uh, very, very best of safe command, who am I? So let's run it and see if it works. And each patch times you on default. So the progress is obvious, but there's a lot of room for improvement once again. Even though a lot of the stuff are unknown, even though some of the stuff are not working, 
it's it's creditable that a guy puts that much effort into something and it makes it better and better and better so in a nutshell i'm happy to see such kind of progress i'm happy to see such things like amc bypassing and extended modules of course there's going to be always room for improvements all c2 all vendors are constantly improving but the point is to keep trying and trying and trying until it gets better and better and better so my honest opinion on that c2 is that it has a potential to become something good but again a lot of the work must be in place and i can highly advise you if you're gonna continue developing that c2 which i which i highly hope just the first thing that in my opinion that this c2 lacks is the help menus and some kind of guides throughout the interface because as an unknown operator as some guy who just downloaded your code he not gonna have idea how to work with that c2 until he tries and fails a bunch of times see the source code and see where and what resolves so my honest opinion would be that seemed to be working nice but make sure to put the work into making some kind of help menu guidelines help for each command at least a description on how this thing is supposed to get used but beside that there are a lot of things that i enjoy a lot of things that are obvious and new and also one of the misc things i enjoy is that if you accidentally press ctrl c you're gonna see the message do you really want to quit and also another thing that might get improved is that if you quit the c2 all of these services all of the vision ports is gonna die with the c2 itself so for instance if if I do quit and all my service dies, I need to again restart the whole listener process and so on and so on and so on. But beside that, I am quite happy with the situation as I mentioned. I am quite happy seeing such progress and keep up the good work buddy.